In today's video, I thought I'd share six things that I've come to learn about Adobe Illustrator in the last 365 days. Now we're all constantly learning and so I also discover new tips and new functions within Adobe Illustrator. Some of them were suggestions by viewers of this channel and others were just me messing about with Illustrator and discovering certain things on my own accord. There's going to be a test at the very end of the video, so let's jump right in. The first one is actually an expansion on the last video I made and that was about offsetting strokes around typography. The method I showed you was a destructive way because we outlined the text, but this new method I found out actually allows us to edit the text after the stroke has been offset. So firstly, come into the appearance panel and then add a stroke. We then need to offset the stroke and like before, it looks rather messy if you remember back to the previous video. However, all we actually need to do is to come into the Pathfind option right here and then click Add. Now, this was brought to my attention by a viewer, so thanks to that person for this tip. We can now edit the text whilst the stroke is offset. Awesome. So this next function I learned recently in Illustrator is based around the group selection tool. So here are four squares and we can group them together like so with command or control G. The group selection tool allows us to select and move objects within a group. However, if we double click the group selection tool in the toolbar menu, we now have access to a menu of precise transformations on the selected object. This is a quick and a very easy thing to do. And like I said, it just offers more precision on your movements within a group selection. It's just really nice to have this option there when you want to be working with precision on your graphic designs. Now the third tip that I've realized across the last year in Illustrator is linked to patterns. Now I've made a quick selection of circles here and I can actually go ahead and open up the swatches panel to turn this into a pattern itself. That's not the actual tip, however, it's just part of the process. But in the swatches panel, you will find the patterns menu right here, and I can drag and drop my shapes into that menu, and it's going to give me a made pattern swatch. Now, the thing I've learned is that you can apply your pattern to a shape, and if you rotate that shape, the pattern rotates as well. But the question arises, what if you want to only rotate the pattern or just rotate the square? Well, in the rotate menu, you can check only the pattern box and this is going to allow you to rotate the pattern itself within the shape. And of course the shape is staying stationary, which is pretty cool. Do remember there is a test at the very end of this video, but for now, let's move on to the fourth illustrator tip. This tip is another instance of trying out the old double click method on something new. And that something is the live corners in Illustrator CC. Now I did showcase this not long ago in a video, but to quickly go back over it, you can double click the live corners in Illustrator CC and you're going to open up this menu here, which offers more options for corners of shapes. Now I only realized this a short while ago by playing around with double clicking things in Illustrator. And there are actually quite a lot of things that you can access with a double click. It's quite interesting to know actually. So the fifth tip today is based around the eyedropper tool. Now I have one circle off to the left here, but let's say I want to copy the transparency of the circle here, but not the actual stroke style. I want to have the same opacity, which is 23%. Now if I press I for the eyedropper tool and then sample it, I get the opacity, but I also get the stroke style and everything else relating to that shape. Now what I can do, however, is to double click the eyedropper tool in the toolbar menu, and then I'm going to have many, many options open to me. So here, I'm only going to choose transparency, and this will ensure I copy that alone from the shape. And finally, before the test part of today's video, 
something really neat that can save you a whole lot of time. And that's something I did showcase recently, and that's the shift key. If I hold down an arrow key to move this object, it moves quite slowly across the artboard due to my increment settings. But if I hold down the shift key, I will speed things up by a factor of 10. I can also do this for things like increasing or decreasing the stroke weight. And also note that control or command will actually increase and decrease things by decimal points, effectively slower than usual. But yeah, the shift key can be used on many aspects of your design workflow, such as when working with typography as well. Changing the size and also the kerning of the type is increased when holding down shift. So how well were you actually listening to the points in today's video? Well, it's actually time to test your knowledge, your attention and your skills. So when offsetting a stroke around typography in a non-destructive workflow method, what function in the Pathfinder menu in the appearance panel did we use? What was the main reason for the first tip when offsetting strokes around typography? Where exactly can you find the group selection tool in Illustrator? How do you access the group selection tool menu that offers you precise movements around grouped objects? Which panel did I drag my pattern to so I could feel a shape with that pattern? How do you access the eyedropper selection settings menu? To increase the amount of nudges on an object by a factor of 10, which key do you hold down? So how well did you do on the test? Do let me know with a comment down below and also let me know what you think of my content here at Satori Graphics, how I can improve it and also just suggestions for the future. Be sure to share my content on social media and also subscribe to weekly graphic design content to boost your skills and your awareness as a graphic designer. Until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.